Now, I want to start this video with an exercise. I want you to think right now and name me one receiver on the uh, Chicago Bears for 2023. Well, 2022-2023. Okay, you probably can't. Uh, I know uh, there's a few guys on there. Durham Mooney, maybe, if you had him on your fantasy team, like I did as like a backup third string just in case. Um, but other than him, um, I'm, let me just pull up these stats real quick. Um, I'm sure it's going to be shocking. Um, Leading receiver was Cole Komet, 500 yards, seven touchdowns. Um, 500 yards, I mean, I know Justin Jefferson did that in like two or three games. Uh, Equinemius St. Brown also up there. Uh, Daryl Mooney, 400 yards. Equinemius St. Brown, 300 yards. Uh, <laughs> David Montgomery, 300 yards. Dante Pettis, 200 yards. Chase Claypool, brutal trade, uh, 140 yards. And a bunch of other guys, 100 yards. So um, they really do have a tough time uh, with that. Um, now go and name Tua. Name some receivers in the Dolphins, right? They have, you know, Waddle, and they got um, Tyreek Hill, obviously. How about another young quarterback, Jalen Hurts? Who's Jalen Hurts got? Uh, A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith, Dallas Goddard, you know, the list goes on. Um, now you look at a guy like Trevor Lawrence, right? He's kind of the case study we're going to look at in this video, too. Who named some guys in the, in the Jags last year? right? It's hard to come by. Uh, what was it, like Marvin Jones, uh, DJ Chark, you know, they're a, a, a Buba Wale, um, you know, not great. And then you look at this year, Zay Jones, um, Christian Kirk, they went out and paid for Evan Ingram, they got in. Uh, Travis Etienne is now healthy. Um, you know, a lot of assets, right? So I think the Bears do the similar thing. they got a, a billion holes, but I think if you start giving them some offense, that could happen. Should they go out there and trade for a guy? Who knows? Um, the Dolphins did it. Uh, the, the, the Eagles did it. You know, would I be surprised if the Bears traded back, got maybe a pick or two? You know, maybe the, uh, the Seahawks want to go up there and grab Will Anderson, and uh, they, they, trade one, or they trade their two first-round picks, 5 and 12, and then they package pick 20 to go to like to the, the Cardinals and get um, New Hopkins, you know, something like that, right? Go out there and get him a thing. You know, Devontae Adams, everyone jokes about trading for him. No chance, right? He's, he's still too good and too young, and that team's built to win. Uh, Cardinals are going to go through a, probably a deep rebuild, potentially. They have a lot of older guys, and then Kyler Murray. And Kyler Murray's obviously injured, coming off a torn ACL. So it's like, okay, what's going to happen? Even Kyler Murray, right? He's been in the league a few years. They went out there. They got a Marquise Brown. They traded him. They traded four new Hopkins, right? You just got to surround your guys with weapons, right? So Because the worst thing that can happen is your guys, you know, stuck in a system with no weapons and bad offense, handicapped like Mac Jones, right? Mac Jones had a lot of weapons at Alabama, and he goes into um, New England. You know, Kendrick Bourne, you know, not the greatest. Jacoby Myers, not the greatest. You know, Hunter Henry and John o. Smith, everyone thought was be better. You know, they've played pretty poorly. Granted, the offensive scheme is just as bad as that, too. But is it to blame on Mac Jones? No, he gets pulled because it's, it's easy to blame the quarterback. But, you know, when he's got not much time back there and subpar weapons, of course he's not going to succeed. Um, you know, Josh Rosen kind of had the same thing, you know, a few years ago. I'm just thinking of you young quarterbacks, like Zach Wilson too, you know, not the most amount of weapons. Um, granted, a lot of that more was on him too, but – uh, Garrett Wilson he went out and got, but you know you got to give guys some weapons because if you're going out there and throwing to nobody, you're in trouble. Like Josh Allen, same thing. They went out there and they got digs, right? So if you can go out and trade for these stud receivers and help them build your guys, you should be fine. So I just think that it's it's if you draft a quarterback, you invest it. You got to go out and get weapons. So like let's look at this year's draft, right? There's a few teams that already have it. Um, the Colts probably going to go quarterback. They already got some weapons, right? Mitchell Pittman, they got a billion tight ends. Um, and again, Pittman's a good one. You got uh, Alec Pierce from Kentucky, from Cincinnati out there too. Um, even if the Raiders go out there and draft Will Levis, billion weapons already around him, right? Um, even the even the Seahawks got guys around him. Dol um, Lions got weapons on offense, right? Um same thing, and I don't think uh, the uh, Falcons will go out there, but, you know, they got to see a few weapons. Same with the uh, the Panthers. Panthers got guys. Titans, not really. They got a you know, running back, and that's about it. Um, other teams in the quarterback round, uh, the football team, you know, they got some good weapons. Steelers kind of with Kenny Pickett, right? He doesn't have, like, a, a true number one receiver. Um, Pickens could be that guy. They went out there and drafted him. So I just think that if you want to make sure – you know, you're making a big investment in these guys, right? The, 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 the Texans this year, 
They're going to draft probably Bryce Young at two, right? What would be the worst thing to happen to him? Stay behind that current offensive line. He gets hurt, gets crunched. You know, he's, he has that sh- coming off that shoulder injury. You know, it's probably nothing now, but you know, he's had a shoulder injury in the past. If you don't have many weapons, um, and he's already undersized, which I don't think matters at all, um, he could get in trouble, right? Because again, name a, a receiver on the uh, Texans. You got Brandon Cooks, but he's always either concussed or doing, you know, having problems, something like that. Um, other than him, I think you got the ghost of O.J. Howard as a tight end. Um, and then you got my guy, Nico Collins from Michigan, but I don't think many people know about him. He's a good third option, right? He shouldn't be a number one option on the team, similar to the Bears, right? So um, I think that there could be some more of those big-time receiver trades out there. Um, everyone made fun of the Christian Kirk deal, but, I mean, it helped them win a playoff game and took the Jags and pick one to their play in the Chiefs later, um, you know, upcoming this week. Um so just long and short of the video, I feel like I'm starting to ramble, but I want to keep it a little bit more concise, is you got to get your young guns help, your young quarterbacks help. So if you, if you make the investment in the quarterback, you kind of got to go all in, right? It's just shoving the chips all in. So thank you for watching. Appreciate the support as always. Uh, like and subscribe, share with three friends, something like that. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Um, who else should go all in and get some weapons? Um, so appreciate it. Thank you, and see ya. Peace.